Hi, welcome to Hearsay. I'm the most disgusting hobo you've ever met. And it is eight minutes till my birthday, Diane Neal. You'll sing to Hearsay. I think I already said that. Don't know. Very late here. Hi, Danny. How are you? Oh, wait, let me do this part. Hello. With me, as always, is my gorgeous, handsome, delicious... I don't know, I've never tasted you. Never mind. Um, I take that back. And interesting co-host is Danny. Danny, 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 Danny. How you doing, Danny? Diane, how you doing, Diane? I'm doing great. I'm filthy. Um, I spent all day yesterday yeah, cleaning that palatial penthouse that I was staying in. And then I got to an Airbnb last night, which is, there aren't words for how disgusting. There are no words for how disgusting. I have been, first of all, let me put, let me just put this out there, people. Cleaning, my least favorite thing on earth. Like, I would rather be in a dark alley and people come up to me with socks full of pennies and then like, boom, like hit me a few times, like, boom, then clean. Are you listening? Are you even <laughs> listening? What are you doing? Are you, you got business? You I have business listening. to take care of. Okay. Anyway. And um, um, well, the fact I've that... been cleaning this very expensive minuscule. I mean, like even... First of all, that it has a washing washer and dryer is shocking. Like, because it is like this, it is, I think it's seriously like 180 square feet. Every surface in here, I cannot express to you the fill. It has taken and the noises. Okay. Let me tell you a little story. You're not asking for it, Danny. I'm going to tell you a story. Come with me. Come with me. Here, come with me. Come with me into the bathroom, okay? I want you to enjoy this. Okay. okay. Oh, I left the hot water on. Okay. So <clears throat> there's the toilet, right? Okay. There's the shower. So I don't know if you can get a good angle, but I have always there. What? Hold on. I'm trying to get this. Where can I get this? There's the shower. And there's the toilet. Is that a good? Can you tell what's happening there? <laughs> because I can. What I've always wanted it's to do. It's all wine. Like, yeah. I've always wanted to take a dump while washing my hair. So I feel like, <laughs> I feel like for the, this, the birthday that starts in five minutes, mission accomplished. Check that one off the list, Danny. Um, this was the cleanest room. I don't even know how much, I just don't even know how to explain the fill. I think I've never seen anything like it. Oh, 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 okay, okay, wait, wait. So there's there are two windows in the joint, right? And one of them is up there. It's so far up. Like, it starts, like, eight feet high. It starts eight oh, feet wow. high. Yeah, and it goes into, like, some yeah. sort of courtyard situation. There's also one, if you go up these um these wee steps, beep, 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 beep. there's, like, a loft with just a bed up there and filth. So there's, like, a mattress and filth. Um, there's also the other window in the place is it starts at, it's at bed level. So if the window, so like you're in the bed is like on the ground and the window is exactly where the bed is. Like it's that low and small. It doesn't close. Um, so, so last night was a pretty epic amount of, um, mosquitoes and it doesn't close. No, 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 it doesn't close. And um, and I didn't realize also until last night that this apartment's definitely close to the airport. So that's also helpful. Okay. But, um, I mean, like, it's for your your getaway. Yeah. And there were mosquitoes, and I was like, uh, uh, you know, every time I don't think I can get, I can descend deeper into a level of of hell, I I go further. But let me tell you this. (laughs) So the, the, the yet yeah, I don't even know if he's a young guy. I don't know. He could be like 45 for all I know. He could be my age, right? But let's just call him a young guy. So it's his first time Airbnb. Like and he met me last night. And and it's lovely because he just moved in with his boyfriend. And this is his first time trying. And you saw the pictures, Danny, and it is a thousand times worse than the pictures, which is fine. Uh but I was like dude right because if i were anyone else anyone else on the planet i would have gone like because he had no this is the first time he's done this and and i would have been like ew 
Okay. Ew. Um, called Airbnb, given it zero stars, gotten a refund of the very expensive price that it was, and gone somewhere else. However, because I'm an idiot and I'm me, Danny, I called this this young gentleman, and I'm like, and he doesn't speak awesome English, and I don't speak awesome his, but you know, he speaks more than I do, so no complaints there. And I was like, his name is Gil, and I was like, Gil, I like you. I think you're a nice guy. But this is the filthiest place I have ever stepped foot in in my entire life. And I've been in sewage drainage dip, like divot in Haiti. Okay. So um, I'm like, no one on earth will find this place acceptable, like at all, at all. But I, mm-hmm. I know this is going to yeah. be like a good source of income for you and your boyfriend. So I don't want to ruin this for you. So I'm going to spend most of today cleaning. But to like, as soon as you're able to, you have to Are come. Are they going to give you a discount? They better. But I'm like, as, as soon as you're <laughs> able, so you can come tomorrow on my birthday, this is what I get to do. And I'm like, you have to come and do the other stuff. There, seriously, there's nowhere for put me, like the one kind of closet that there is is full of his dirty laundry and like condom like i'm not i i'm like i wish i were kidding okay um there's hold on hold up the fridge did is he, full of did he advertise the condoms in the in the ad no no and it said there were hangers okay see all this food in the fridge none of it's mine is that me? Happy birthday hey, to thank you. you. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. I'm, li- I'm listening. Happy Keep singing. Happy birthday, dear Diane. Dang Happy it. birthday to Thank you, Danny. You. Hey. Do you know what I was looking for? Um, I kid you not. I I found birthday candles. Oh, and, really? Yeah. And they, they were given to me, which was very nice. And I have nothing to put them in. I mean, maybe I could put them in some of that running food. However, um, I was just going to light one <laughs> and blow it out. And then I all of a sudden couldn't find them. So I apologize because I haven't even unpacked because seriously, it's not dirty. Thanks, though, for the song, Danny. Oh, yeah. so I was going to I was going to say, but so I'm so glad that I get to be the first one yay, to tell you how to birthday. You are the first person. Thank you. Hey, I'm like, <laughs> November seventeenth. Yay! Hello, fellow Scorpios. So, so um, so that's the adventure. Oh, of you're Gil. a Scorpio. Yeah, I have to go. Is that right? <laughs> I want to make it worse for you, Daniel. <laughs> Danny, I'm a quintuple Scorpio. Oh really? I'm a I, I'm a quintuple Cancer. I don't even know when. Like seriously, <laughs> when is Cancer? Like it's terrible that I don't know your birthday. We're here on my birthday. I, I feel like it's in my July. phone. Oh, that's right. That's right. So what's we what never makes wish Cancers? Me happy birthday? No, I'm just kidding. I, oh my! I think you did. <laughs> no, I think. Um, no, like Cancers 90%. are known for being. No, I, you did. You did. Benign you did or malignant? Birthday, like, yeah, no, but, what, um, what are cancers known for? Wait, wait, can I look it up? I want to see what cancers are known for. Sure. Hold yeah. on. I'm going to look it up and I'm so going to tell you. <laughs> oh, you know what we should do? We should do yeah. the compatibility chart. I'm curious. Uh, please, can you look it up? <laughs> please, yeah. Danny, please. And while you're looking <laughs> it up, I'll tell you what I did this morning. Okay. Wait, I'm going to look at this. I'm going to say, okay. what are star? I just put like star sign can- cancers. Because if I just put cancers, like, you know, what are cancers known for? <laughs> the answer is killing you. That's the that's yeah. the answer. I, I will do that as well if you're not careful. Okay. But it'll be like on the inside. I'm very hard to kill. I don't know if I'll you've noticed go. this, Danny, over the last like few years, like. I you have know, noticed. I'm getting I'm uglier noticed. and uglier, but I'm getting harder to kill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to read it from your perspective, okay? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Can I read the cancer? Do, or did you do the compatibility? Because I yeah, want to yeah, read the read. cancer. I want to read the cancer. Nurturing have, yeah, and loyal. I have the compatibility. Okay, okay. I've got what cancers are. Nurturing and loyal. Cancers are also protective of their loved ones. While reserved, 
They stand on a foundation of strength and aren't afraid to act when they feel it's necessary. The symbol of the crab offers a key to understanding cancer's preternatural ability to know things without knowing how they know them. How does that, how does a crab represent knowing things without the ability to know how to know them? Knowledge. I've never looked at a crab. I've never looked at a crab and go like, you know what? That crab, it's got an ability to know <laughs> things, but not know how they know them. Have you ever looked at a crab like that? that? Anyway. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay. So that, that's nice. I like that. I like that about you. That's the real, then that actually is very, you're very loyal, right? You're very kind. Very you love your family. You're very, this is okay. So I'm going to, this, the Scorpio now, so people have like reference. So when we do the compatibility chart, okay. Scorpios are loyal. So we both, okay. we got that in common. Smart. Oh, nice. Shre okay, cool. Shrewd. Not at all. And stoic. They stand by their beliefs. I do. And they don't cave to anyone else's approval. Also true. Scorpio is like the big, bad elder sister of the water sign crew. Fair enough. I don't even know what that really means, but nice. Okay, you're a water sign too. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> cancer's a water. I guess so. Cancer's a crab that lives in water and yeah. has the ability to know things and not know why. <laughs> like, that's just that like, does happen to me all the time. <laughs> okay, but like, what does like, that have I to do with it? I blame it on YouTube. I blame okay, it on YouTube. I believe that you have that ability because you have really good insight. But like a physical crab, like an actual, like a crustacean, you know, I can't imagine it like, like cruising around, especially with it's like, wait, wait, let me do this way. Cause it's got like one big claw, you know, like one big one and one little one. And it's like, <laughs> I know things. How do I know these things? I'm not sure how I know these things, but I know these things, you know, sorry. Um, yeah. Okay, so, you know what? I, someone was asking me like what <laughs> character I remind myself the most of. And and then I thought of uh, Sebastian from The Little Mermaid, and I was like, "Yeah, I could see my, myself as a Sebastian." Kind of Sebastian. Should we sing? Mostly Should we sing The Little Mermaid? Thing, Look at this. <laughs> Isn't it neat? Uh, let's just pretend I didn't say that. Okay. Onward and upward. I don't remember. I don't remember The Little Mermaid. Wouldn't you? Okay, so the my compatibility. Collection's complete. I hate musical theater, but I love this song. <gasps> Wouldn't you think I'm the gal, the gal that's got everything? I can't sing that loud because people um, <laughs> and ears. Yeah. Tell me what you got. How's it? What's it? gorgeous. That was you're wonderful. You're a very nice man. I think you're saying like okay. deliberately. <laughs> well, this is love compatibility because I couldn't find a friendship one. So <laughs> we'll just have to keep like, well, now we'll, just we'll have know to whether or not we should fall in love, Danny. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm in love with you as a friend. I'm in love okay. with you as a friend. Cancer. You're, you're the best. Oh, thank it's you. true. Okay, it says when cancer. You're a delight. You're a damn delight. I, I appreciate Danny. it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -uh. Can you tell I'm like okay? I, I'm not good at taking compliments. But okay, so when cancer and Scorpio make a love match, the resulting relationship draws together the energies of two emotionally intense signs. Uh oh. Yeah, it doesn't sound uh -oh. like it's going in the right direction. That yeah. sounds like we're doomed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, oh, yeah, keep going. Signs such wait. as these often combine. <laughs> signs such as these often combine well. Each partner's strengths balancing the other's weaknesses. These signs feel a strong. These signs feel a strong sexual attraction, and when they <laughs> and when they are together, <laughs> the temperature in the room tends to rise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cancer and Scorpio have a great deal in common, <laughs> and much. <laughs> And much potential to keep their relationship passionate and going strong. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Cancer and Scorpio enjoy bu buying things together and creating a comfortable living space. Cancer creates security and Scorpio strives for power. Both occupy their minds with thoughts of domestic <laughs> goods and resources, wait, 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 including wait, wait, stocks, bonds, inheritances. Wait, okay. can, you go, go so which can one? you go back a second? No, go back to like, wait, I missed it with the power thing. Like that threw me off. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Cancer craves security and Scorpio strives for power. Yeah, that's weird, but okay. Like it doesn't even <laughs> say like, it's just like, I'm just throwing two totally separate things out there. Do what you want with them. 
you know? Two Sorry. very vague and broad yeah, yeah, concepts. That, like, <laughs> and not relating them together in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, since they are both concerned with the home and have fierce loyalties to the family group, Cancer and Scorpio complement each other well. They both see life as passionate and deeply emotional exercise of human connection. I'd say that's true. <laughs> yeah. Especially the sexual attraction part. Oh, yeah. When we're in a room together, temperatures rise and it's out of control, Danny. <laughs> like, I get so Although, hot that I'm like, well, I better get some, like, cold water to douse myself. You're like, what is going on? I don't I'm understand just, these no, feelings. Um, Everything tangled before we hear <laughs> it. Oh, uh, I didn't know. I didn't know that I had a lesbian side, honest. But I, I guess everyone always, does. Right? I have always known I've been a gay man, like always. <laughs> that is like I've I've told oh. you before about the friend that you remind me of, and she's always saying that she's like I'm a gay man trapped in a woman's body. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna say we've talked about this before. I'm, I am so lucky I'm not in a man's body because I would be like a lot of like. Let's just say aggressive. You'd be that guy <laughs> like, that just like, <laughs> like nothing good would come of it. You know, let's just. I'm just gonna be grateful that I'm I'm not, because nothing good would happen. It would it would be, especially in this era. You know, it might have flown in the past, but in the in the modern era, it 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 would probably it would probably be jail time. <laughs> you'd be kevin spacey right now oh awful i hope i wouldn't be that bad but like i probably would be that bad and, like not know i was that bad and i'd be like why are they putting me in jail you know like i like these guys who have no idea how bad they are and you're like how do you not know that's bad and yeah. it was like i know that's just she's just got like a great ass you know like I, you know one of those like <laughs> She just happened to have a very grabbable pussy. Hey, you know, it was there. It was there. You know, let's do it. Um, okay. So. <laughs> Wait, what? what? I don't know. It's like, was it was like, the, the cu- like the cupping of the pubic bone somehow. <laughs> oh, is that how you grab it? Okay. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I've never. I've yeah. never See, I've I wouldn't. Never... I wouldn't know. Well, I've, I've never grabbed one never either, grabbed either. So, you know, like. <laughs> So we're we're both. This is why people. you lost your campaign. That's right. You 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 grab one of those, <laughs> you can win. And do like you know what the funniest ticket. part about that was? First of all, I have always disliked Billy Bush just as a human, and he's awful, and he's way too short for anything natural. Like he's in that in between. Like, are you a little person? Are you not? Like, you don't even know, right? And you just. And it's not like you need it to be defined, but it would be helpful if it was because you don't know whether to be like considerate about this, you know, or or you just like have a Napoleon thing going on. You know, like it's hard to tell. So um, Andy is just rude and mean and like one of those guys that like as soon as the camera's off, it's like, <laughs> you know, like, you know, just like not interested. But as soon as the camera's on, like, hey, Danny, it's nice to see you. And you're just like, God, you're so fake. Anyway, my God. So, um, however, I wouldn't wish that on anyone because he didn't even say the thing that Trump said. And Billy Bush went down to Chinatown. He got like buzzsawed down and then pariahed. And like, that is the oh, wow. end of you in the entertainment industry, Billy Bush. And then the other guy who actually said the thing went to the presidency. It's so confusing. And I bet. Billy Bush all the time is like, why? <laughs> you know, like he's just enraged all the time. What are you? Are you okay today? You seem wait. Like so you're Billy not... Bush was the one that Trump said that to. Yeah. And Billy no, Bush I, is. I'm like... I'm totally okay, but I think there's just a long delay. <laughs> is it only that far away? It's yeah. I, I don't know if it's. I don't know what it is. It's funny, but Would you um, like no, face? I'm good. Do I seem here? Maybe I just need to shake it off. <laughs> Did you just virtually motorboat me? <laughs> I 
was trying to make like a scary face. Uh, okay. This is what happened this morning. So I'm laying on the world's probably dirtiest and lowest and hardest and least comfortable mattress that I've had the displeasure of sleeping on in sheets that I could <laughs> only describe as um, textured with <laughs> what may or may not have been textured. Dirt or bugs or cracker crumbs or I don't no. know. Yeah, I don't know, oh. man. Oh man, That's it was the rough. Worst. With my head next to this open window with uh, a lot of noise and some planes and a lot of skiers coming in, but there was one thing that was breaking my heart, Danny. As you know, mm-hmm. um, I calculated it once. I think I've spent over half a million dollars saving animals. Like, this isn't like what I've gotten as donations or like donated to like ASPCA. This is like, oh my gosh, there are some kittens that have been born in a hole under part of my house. Let excavate part of my house to get them the clothes. You know what I mean? Like, like wow. bear, bring in a backhoe, buying those camera scope thing. I mean, like you name it, right? Like this is, this is, oh my this gosh. is like, this is, um, I mean, everything from like being in the, the Irish countryside where like there was this lamb caught in some, a barbed wire fencing. I mean, that took me like six hours to get that guy. And then there were all these like tour buses like coming and like this, this Aww. guy was going to die. It's mom was standing nearby and I was like, nah, nah, nah. and I'm like, I'm, I'm working as fast as I'm working as fast as I can, lady. I'm working as fast. I'm going to get this lamb out, but I'm working as fast. You got to stop yelling at me because I'm going as fast as I can. Um, Did you just do a Rosie O'Donnell impression? Is that, was that a Rosie O'Donnell? Not, like, the, Meh. not the sheep, but the. Oh, oh, <laughs> Maybe I, I, I wasn't intending to. Maybe I'm just turning into an old lesbian. I don't know. Um. <laughs> anyway, so. The animals, which is, by the way, how I ended up with as many animals as I have, and all of whom I have an EpiPen for because I'm so allergic to them, but I can't because I love them. Like, even like Vel, like, he was born into my hands. It was my baby boy. Because he was my animal so much. I miss them so much, Danny. I can't even tell you. I want them. I want them on my birthday, among other people. Anyway, so all like for hours, starting at like three or four this morning. This like kitten, like a trapped kitten. And by like six in the morning, I'm like, okay, I got to go find this kitten. Like, this is not okay. This kitten has been going yeah. for like two hours now. And it sounded like a kitten. Like, you know, Velva's like an old dude and Velva's never had an attractive voice to begin with. But he's like, I am. You know, like, this was like a <laughs> tiny kitten. Tra- <laughs> like, you know, yeah, like begging for help somewhere. Right. <laughs> So oh, you see that window that starts at eight feet high in the bathroom, right? So yeah. it goes out. There's like a, a weird courtyard in the middle of the building, right? Where like all the apartments kind of look into. But that window, again, the bottom okay. of that window is eight feet high. You can't even stand on a toilet and get that thing. And by the way, yeah, it's like, you know, like you, you can't physically get up there. And I also don't have the upper body strength, yeah. but whatever. Um, we're not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> so I definitely can tell that the kitten is somewhere like in the courtyard, right? And mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, I got to go out and I, I got to walk all the way around trying to find a way in. Like, is there some way into the courtyard from like anywhere on the outside so I could get in and locate this kitten that is literally my heart is like, it's just like, I can't, I can't, I can't even sleep another minute because it's hurting my heart so much. There's mm-hmm. no way in. Then uh, I see this dude opening his hardware store and he doesn't speak any English and I don't speak any of his language. And somehow uh, I, I'm, I'm not kidding. In the, and I'm not artistic, right? I drew the worst picture of a cat. Okay. <laughs> so I'm drawing a and I'm like, meow, meow. meow. And I'm like, you know, I'm like doing like the world's worst charades, right? You know, and I'm like, help me, help me, <laughs> you know? And he's just like, mm-hmm. ah. and I'm like, but I, I can't, I'm like, I can't get in. I'm like, I can't get in. And so he follows me around. He's like, yeah, there's no way. And I'm like, yeah, there's no way in. But and he's like, oh. and I'm like, 
And so he gives me a ladder. He lets me borrow. Like he just lets some stranger that doesn't even speak his language. So by the way, <laughs> I'm in the same outfit. I cleaned all day yesterday with his outfit. I cleaned all day with his outfit. I'm like brawless. I, I'm disgusting, right? I'm carrying this huge <laughs> ladder back into this minuscule apartment. Barely can get it over that toilet, right? In the, in the toilet shower to get up to that window. Mm. Even then, I'm like on the top of the ladder. I finally get the window. By the way, that window is made out of like um, glass. So thin, if you blew on it, it would crack, right? And it's not like the like safety glass. This is like oh glass gosh. that you would be like shards. You would die instantly. So um, <laughs> I carefully open the window and I start looking out there, right? And I still have to, ho- it's so high. I have to still have to like hoist myself higher. It is, I don't even know how to explain it in that courtyard, Danny. There are just gaps in concrete and like garbage everywhere and big shafts that go down like 12, 15 feet to like this kitten could be anywhere, right? But I'm not going to give up. Oh my God. Because I'm, can you imagine what I'm going to listen to an animal die, you know, that needs to be saved? No, no. Yeah. This is like the Marines, Danny. <laughs> you leave no man behind. So I'm starting to pull myself out, right? And then I, I go get, I'm like, does this guy even have like a bath mat in this disgusting place? No, there's a one towel in this joint, okay? One towel, and it's not even, look, this is the size of the towel, okay? Take this towel, and I throw it over there so I don't get cut with the broken glass that's up there. And I'm halfway out the window, right? Like full, like orca, you know, in, in a Sea World show. I'm just like me, resting. Listening to trying to go like, <laughs> like, you know, hear the kitten. Where's the kitten? What hole could it be in? How am I going to get this kitten out of wherever it is? Do I have rope? Yeah. No. But like, so I'm, I'm working all this out. Apparently on the other side of the courtyard on the first floor, I'm on the first floor, but they're also on the first floor. But for some reason on this first floor, there's only one window and it's like eight feet high <laughs> at the bottom. But on the other side, they have sliding patio doors, right? And the apartments are much nicer, okay. but that's, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm, so basically at this point, I'm like 12 feet in the air coming out of a hole in the wall. What like, to anyone looking at this from below? <laughs> 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 Going, <laughs> trying to get the kitten to respond to me, right? So the cat would be like quiet and then they'd be like, <clears throat> and then I'd hear, <clears throat> and I'd be like, <clears throat> so this is like, this is what, <laughs> Talking for a lady. <laughs> this is like, this is not even an exaggeration, Danny. Some poor lady who lives, on, you know, on the other, directly across from this apartment on the other side of that little courtyard. And, and I can't see in her place at all, yeah. right? I just see like a bunch of beautiful plants and things like that. Mm-hmm. And then the sliding glass door opens like wicked fast. And... <laughs> <clears throat> And her dog is going, like, all of a sudden I realize her dog is going berserk, right? Because there is a lady, again, out of a hole in the wall, 12 feet high. Uh. (laughs) No, because there's somebody out there going, you know, like, he thought I was, like, an intruder or something. And then, of course, I'm like, hey, buddy, how you doing? He got all excited and, like, his tail was wagging. And I'm like, do you know what a kitty is? Do you know what a kitty is? Can you find that kitty for me? And the lady's, like, (laughs) watching this. And again, I'm, like, full wiggle coming out of the wall, like, (laughs) 10 feet above her. So, like, <laughs> now I'm talking to her dog, but now she knows I speak English, right? And she's like, "What are you doing?" It's <laughs> like, do you hear that kitten that's obviously stuck somewhere? And I'm like, I walked around the whole courtyard trying to find a way in because. It's breaking my heart. Like this kitten is killing me. Like, I need, and there are all these places in here it could have fallen into. Like, I don't even know what to do. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, in the place I like, I got there last night. There's just this super high window. And she was like, Yeah, it it looks like you're just coming out of a concrete wall. Like, really high in the air. <laughs> like that. I know <clears throat> what I'm doing. <laughs> and she was like have you cut yourself? And I'm like, no, I put a towel down. Right. Because even she knew it was like covered with like broken glass and stuff up there. And I'm like, but enough about me. I'm like, what's your yeah. dog's name? And anyway, and I was like, no, okay, we'll get back to that. I'm like, do you hear, do you hear that? <laughs> meow, meow, meow. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, we got to find it. And like, I'm roping her into this now too. Right. Like, I'm like, maybe her, maybe her dog, <laughs> yeah. like maybe her dog. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, by the way, it's 6 a.m., right? Or no, but at this point, it's probably like 6 37, but like she's got nothing to do on like a weekday. I'm just like, let's go, girl. Like, we're going to get this kid. <laughs> and I hope your dog's name is Lassie because part of the part of the rescue effort. She starts laughing hysterically. And I was like, I don't think like a, I'm like, I appreciate the humor of this, but like a trapped kitten is kind of a laughing matter, but I appreciate it. Um, but I really would like your help. And she's like, no, 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 no. There's no trapped kitten. And I'm like, there are a lot of places in here for a kitten to be trapped. And she's like, no. Um, so this is the first. So I'm, I'm like an hour and a half away from where I was before. And so I am in mm-hmm. like the heart of the city in a not awesome neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And apparently um which i didn't notice there are like hundreds of thousands of stray cats in the city oh wow yeah okay and um i'll probably become one of these ladies at some point however uh she told me that there are people that feed the cats that really shouldn't but that feed the cats and what i'm hearing is that then the cats gather at that person's window or door that they know they get food from Mm -hmm. and 24 hours a day and get this and i looked it up and it's actually true in an effort to try and sound cuter so they get more food make themselves sound like babies meow 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 yeah Uh, so she's like don't worry about it there's not a trapped kitten she's like when there's a trapped kitten we all know because it's a very different like right it's like a horrible and she's like and we'll go for it and she's like but in the meantime you're welcome to crawl back into the hole from which you came (laughs) into the hole from which you came i think that's gonna be the episode title (laughs) (laughs) and you know what since it's my birthday you know in a way the hole from which you came you know like we've all that's there's a there's a hole from which we have all come um but yeah so that's how i spent the first part of the day and and then i returned the ladder to the dude and uh this time took my phone and did like google translate and he was laughing so hard and then he did like google translate back in my phone and he's like there are cats everywhere. I'm like, yeah, I un- I get that now. Like, I get, thank you. I get that now. <laughs> and hey, you know what? At least I was there because it was like one of those places that they have in New York where um, it, the shop is tiny, but they have like one of everything. They have like one one vacuum, uh, one thing of laundry detergent, one thing of strawberry jam. You know, like it's like, like a little bit of everything. Yeah. And um, so yeah. I cleaned him out of cleaning supplies because I was in desperate need because this place was so gross. Um, was that the right thing to do with Gil, the owner? Like, I didn't it, want, by the way. I didn't want to like, I, you know, I just like, I felt for the guy and you know how it is just trying to make a buck in this world. And, and if he starts off with like a zero star review and I actually like, I'll send you pictures later, Danny, and you're going to be like, Help, mm-hmm. you know, but um, yeah. that'll end his Airbnb forever. You know, he's not going to have any income, mm-hmm. and that makes me sad. So I was like, so I'll probably get bitten the ass by that, like I usually do when I do something nice. But you know, I have a few. I just, I just so like on one yeah. hand, on one hand, I feel like that's it's a good thing to do. Like I've I've done similar things with Airbnbs before. Yeah. Um, but then on the other hand, I also feel like um, you should probably get some kind of like reimbursement for it because you're spending your own money cleaning and you're spending your time cleaning. And that would be something that he would have to either pay for or do himself. If yeah. You well, that's what it. I'm like, dude, like that's part you even pay for a cleaning fee. So you know what? You don't want to do hire a cleaner. But like, I'm, I, I don't even know how to explain right. the film. Like. And yeah. by the way, yeah. uh, obviously a smoker's apartment because of the joint reeks of smoke. And then I like flipped on the AC and you know what came out oh, of it? Wow. Dust huh. and cancer. Dust? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like. Oh, my gosh. So like. 
I can't. Wow. Dang, I would take you upstairs to see some of the nightmare that was up there. And apparently, I don't ever want to go back up there again. And like, at least this weird <laughs> ple- pleather couch, like I've sanitized the the outside portions. I did lift up a cushion, which was an error in judgment. And since there's no vacuum in here, um, there was no way to deal with that. So, so at least the exterior is clean, and I feel that's probably cleaner than than yeah laying on the bed and i have this i have my my airplane pillow so i'm gonna do that like i'm gonna do that really unattractive <laughs> so um and i have i have a like a jacket from banana republic i think i'm gonna use as a blanket and you know you know what's really funny after the amazing life that i've had and all the amazing things i've owned and done this is you know if someone had asked like how are you gonna be spending your 46th birthday this would not have been on the list <laughs> yeah yeah it sounds it sounds a little lonely but um can i tell I you some know. things i'm grateful for which will cheer me up yeah at least i'm alive that'd be good um danny <laughs> yeah no i was I'm... like i was like where is the silver lining here no no no. it's okay we're gonna find you're not dead lining. that's what we're i always find myself to- Yes. Um, I'm really grateful for you. I think you're amazing and lovely and I'm happy that we met. I think you're really capable and uh, interesting and smart and funny. I am really grateful to the couple that just put me up for three weeks in their palatial penthouse and made me feel very welcome. And um, that's why I cleaned all day yesterday because like that was my... Cause it, they're leaving, and so that's just why I had to leave. And um, you could tell she was really stressed out, and the, the wife, and she cleans her own house. Dixie does. You know, she doesn't have like a clean, and it's like you saw, it's like massive, right? And um, so I was like, Dixie, the least I can do is uh, instead of you driving me far away to where I need to go, I know you're really short on time, and I know cleaning the house is going to suck. So I will spend all day scrubbing the crap out of your house with you. And then I'll take a taxi to where I'm going tonight. And hopefully she appreciated that, that as much as I appreciated um, them hosting me for a few weeks. Also, I'm really grateful that I have the world's sweetest dog, even though I wish I were, you, he was with me right now. I'm really grateful to the person taking care of him because they're like best buddies and it's kind of adorable. Um, It's actually really adorable. I'm very sad. I'm not with my mom and helping her with all the hurricane recovery. I feel like a total jerk pie about that, but I am so grateful for my mom. I'm really grateful for the time I've gotten to have because we haven't spent any time together seriously since I was 16 um like not any getting to spend all these months since moving there in april uh you know my mom's become my best friend and what a cool thing something we didn't have before right i'm really grateful yeah Yeah, i'm really grateful for vel because even though he makes both mom and i violently ill um he's keeping mom company and he's hilarious um I mean, he really is so funny. I can't wait for you to meet Vel. Like, I'm not a cat person either, but like, Vel is ridiculous. He's just like, he's like, imp- and he's huge. He's like twice the size of Charlie. He's just, re- he's enormous. <laughs> and he's always just like throwing his body everywhere. And you're like, what are you doing? And like I said, he talks on top. He's like, rawr, 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 rawr. like just all day, all day. So, all, like, if you're with him, you're Can just you do like, the Bernie What's Sanders up, huge. When you describe him, can you describe oh, no. him How the is way the Bernie Sanders Huge! Wrote? You know, like that? Like, No, he goes, huge, huge. Oh, just huge. Oh, yeah, I don't have to pay more attention to Bernie Sanders. <laughs> um, even though this is the grossest roof over my head ever, and peeling and cracking, and I'm waiting for things to crawl out of this roof, I am grateful that I have a roof over my head, because a lot of people don't. And um, yeah, I'm really grateful... Um, come on, hold on. Wait, I got this. Are you grateful for that travel pillow? I am. 
Danny, look at me think of that. <laughs> Snap it up. <laughs> um, you know I'm what? Grateful. Okay. I'm going to yeah. run and get a candle real quick. Can we get a candle? Okay. You know, this is, I'm like, you know what I got for dinner? This really gross pizza pizza. Oh my gosh, just burp. Just enjoy that. Although it is. It's a nice Coke made out of sugar. There's that. I don't even know how I look, so I apologize, guys, because I probably look crazy. I'll see you like I look crazy. I like I look crazy. Hi, sorry. I just talking. I just talking to everybody Hi. at home. <laughs> Nice. I hope it was. Uh, were you talking crap about me behind my back? Yeah, that's exactly. I'm gonna hear it while talking... I'm editing. What did you say? Did you say talking crab about you? Wait, wait. I gotta do my one bait. Sorry. Wow, where'd you come up with that? Is that a trick candle? It's your okay, birthday. Wait, wait, wait. Yay! All right, wait. I'm I'm gonna blow it. Okay, and we'll see if it goes out. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a wish, though. But wait, okay. hold on. I, I really got to come yep. up with a good one. Can I, can I ask you a question about birthday wishes? Sure. What? Can they be, like, universal? Like, I want every problem to go away. Or do I have to be more specific? Like, can you ask for, like, world um, peace? And that includes, like, peace in my personal life as well as world peace? Like, or do you have to be, like, specific? Like, I don't know what is. I haven't had a lot of luck with my birthday wishes um, coming true, so okay. And what kind do you really usually be the pick? So I'll ask. go the opposite. No, no, no. So you tell me what, like, what is? Do you do general or specific? Because I'll do the opposite of that in the hopes that possibly that's the problem. <laughs> I'll do general but specific. I try and make it like a horoscope reading where I'm like, I wish to have a lot of security, <laughs> or, or I wish to have a lot of. In your case, it would be power because you're the <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> power okay i don't want you to burn your fingers but remind <laughs> me wait wait i'm going to tell you a story right now so guy G's, who is like the king of this major the lydian empire right that was in i'm going to make this fast so you don't die asia minor back in the day we're talking like i think it was like 500 600 bce anyway so he wants to know whether he should mm -hmm. attack the persians slash medes like oh who's gonna do this they were kind of an upstart at the time and he's like ah so he goes to the mm -hmm. oracle at delphi right that's beautiful he goes to the oracle at delphi mm -hmm. And he says, hey, Oracle at Delphi, um, tell me, like, if I attack these people, what's going to happen? And so the Oracle at Delphi says, so there's a, a river that separates the two, like the Medes and the Persians and Guy Jesus domain. And so the Oracle at Delphi mm -hmm. says, if you cross this, if you cross this river, a great empire will fall. And so he's like, boom, boom, sweet. Although what he didn't realize, it was his empire that fell. So his you got to be careful. <laughs> yes. You cross the river, great empire fall, but you got to specify which empire. Um, okay, I'm going to make. Right. Okay, ready? Skeddy. Mm -hmm. Dang. That was well done. Thank you. you. I, um, I'm really impressed. Thank you. Hey. It's a good seventh. No, oh my gosh, we're like a good ten thousand miles. You got to blow power. really hard to make that happen. You do, you do. Oh my gosh, how <laughs> funny is that? Looks like my inhaler's been working. Um, I made a good wish. <laughs> it wasn't for me, but you'll have to let me know if it works out. I will. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll. Whatever happens in my life, I'll just tell you because I don't know what the wish is. But sounds <gasps> good. Am I visiting you? Which is oh, burp, by the sorry. way, so I finished my coke. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, somebody offered us uh, two first class flights, uh -huh. no cleaning, and invitations to a birthday. Oh no, no invitations to a wedding. Rough date Eli. Halloween 2024. That is somebody commented that on the YouTube channel, and I wasn't sure. So it's Jody Brown. Hi, Jody. I wasn't uh, really sure if was she's it Jody being and Sarah? honest. I think it's Jody and Sarah. Yeah. Was it in the U was it in the UK? 
Was it in the well, UK? It doesn't say it... where they're from. Okay. They are the loveliest ladies. And I know them because I'm going to say they would know better than I. So first of all, Alligator Jody is named for that Jody. Because remember, she won that. Um, oh, yeah. Right. And okay. uh, so I got a cameo request. I mean, seriously, like a year and a half, two years ago. And it was Jody. I'm trying to remember which one was which one was asking me. It was 99. I'm sorry, guys. It's like it's like after midnight. That's not all slavery. Um, pretty sure it was Jody who wanted me to do a cameo asking Sarah to marry her. And I was like, that oh. is the sweetest thing I've ever been asked. And I'm like, OK, but like you, you oh got to let God. me like prepare and I got to get stuff out and I got like my old wedding veils out you know what I mean and like all the stuff and like like yeah. enact a surprise and like wrote a song because like you know what somebody asks you to do something that's special like you better you know you gotta bring your a-game yeah and and she yeah. said yes she said yes and Aww. uh yeah and then we've just been friends you know uh like touching base all the time since like and it, it makes me really happy so I'm glad they finally picked a date Oh, yeah. She said circa Halloween 2024. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good for them, man. How exciting. Hey, Jody, Congratulations Sarah, we can be there. Congratulations to Jody we'll, and to Sarah. Yeah, we'll be there if we can be there. Absolutely. And I'll still like, I, they asked if I would marry them, but I looked into getting my officiant's license in the UK and it was a more convoluted process. I'll see. Maybe it's changed in the last couple of years. Because I love marrying people. Like, I'll marry I, you guys, but um, it probably won't be legal. But I'll do it. Yeah. Not he that definitely you will do it. I'll do it. Yeah, he'll, he'll do it. I'll do it. We'll all do it. It probably won't be legal for any of us, but we'll do it. <laughs> I've, I've done it a <laughs> few a times. Yeah, I've done it a few times. And like, uh, I get, I spend a lot of work on these. Nice. That's Got awesome. All resources. I've never married someone. Um in oh, either totally, capacity, I mean, right? Cool like experience. you've never married someone and you've never married someone. Officiated a wedding. That's yeah. Right. yeah. 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 I feel like I got to do one before I do the other though. Hmm. You never know. Think of all like, the priests that marry people and they've never even had sex. <laughs> we don't know that for sure. Well, first of all. okay. I'm Okay. I, I kid you not. So I came across this. First of all, my buddy Dan, my like best friend Dan, hold on. He sends me. I don't, what am I? Not, I'm like, why can't I see? That's why, Danny. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. No, where is it? Um, he sends me. So in his like Netflix feed, um, you know how they suggest things for you to watch hold on i have to find it like i okay in his netflix feed okay this shows up wait wait let, here let me just do but get can i get do you see it is the rise of the third reich on lifetime tv okay i don't can you see that <laughs> there's the lifetime logo okay oh my gosh we know what kind of movies lifetime does i've been in those movies right they're not usually the rise of the Third Reich. Now hold on. This 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 goes to what this goes to the other thing. So then after he sends me that, and I am like dying, and I'm like, wow. I'm like, lifetime, love that network, really taking a hard left turn, right? Then mm -hmm. this is an article in the New York Times. Wait, wait, oh kind of shit just doesn't work, does it? When you get I'll just have to read it for you. You ready? This is a real article. KFC, mm -hmm. so Kentucky Fried Chicken, we've gone over this. It is actually fried. <laughs> okay. We acknowledge our error. Kentucky okay. Fried Chicken apologize, <laughs> apologizes, KFC apologizes for linking chicken promotion to Crystal Knocked. Now, if you don't know what Crystal Knocked is, it is the night of broken glass. It is the first night that began the Holocaust. So let me read it again now that you know that Crystal Knocked is the first night of the Holocaust. It's basically generally considered what's the first night. Kentucky Fried Chicken apologizes for linking chicken promotion to Crystal Knocked. Okay, <laughs> to the beginning of the Holocaust. Now, obviously, Holocaust, not funny. Again, for people that don't understand how jokes work, Holocaust, not funny. KFC promoting chicken for, Chris, for the Holocaust, 
hilarious, right? Like someone made a horrible <laughs> error. Think about the amount of people that got fired over that. You want to know what's even worse about that, Danny? It was right. German KFC. KFC in Germany sent out a, twi- a tweet about celebrating Crystal Knock with crispy chicken. And after seeing oh. that Lifetime movie about the rise of the Third Reich, all I could think is like, is this some horrible cross-branding promo gone awry between Lifetime and KFC? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Who yeah, I could see that. that. Like, KFC's. hey, guess what? Hey, what is it today? First day of the Holocaust. What are you going to do? You know what? Hey. <laughs> if you can. <laughs> Many people do think got fired. I mean, like, and rightly so. Yeah. But, like, wow. Like, what? Yeah. I just want to know. There's, I had so many questions, but I, I was also like hesitant to read the article because the headline was so incredibly insane. And in the New York Times, like we're not, this is not like some kind of random website. This is in the New York Times. But then I had to read the article and I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And it was yeah. German KFC that put out with those chicken crystal knot promo type. You know so what? I want to know, yeah. okay. So it came down to tweets. What did they say in the tweets? Oh, no, it was literally like, you know, like a like push, you know, tweet, like, you know, how like companies just auto send tweets to anyone that follows them. Oh, and this one like was a, literally like, yeah. hey, you guys celebrate Crystal Knocked with some crispy chicken. It was literally <laughs> so like celebrate that Holocaust. Oh, with oh some my God. Crispy celebrate. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Chicken That's promotion awful. to Crystal Knock. I mean, mind-blowing right but then also too what is that lifetime is doing with a movie called the rise of the third reich like do they fall in love or is it the rise of the third reich over christmas you know <laughs> that's the kind of movie that lifetime does so i'm very confused about everything that is Danny, really interesting yeah yeah i'm generally confused about most things but thanks for my birthday candle you are welcome yeah I wish that we could have hung out longer for your birthday. I no, wish I could I be, be there to like bring you a cake or something. Dude, but, if you were um, here, I would put you to work helping me clean this mofo. Because in- <laughs> that's what I have to have you do. <laughs> so be glad that you're not here. Um, yeah. But I adore you. And for everyone at home listening, uh, yeah, send me love. Just send me love. Keep me in your prayers. Um. I know you get, I get lots of wonderful birthday wishes, so I'm so grateful. Uh, yeah, I I adore everyone, and uh, every minute with you, Danny, is incredibly fun. Even though it's hard to tamp down on the sexual attraction, you know, uh, it's... Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to see if you can trim that damn cat. The kitten, like, you tell me if it sounds like it's in distress. I can't. I can't, Danny. I can't <laughs> listen to it all night. You know why? Because my heart will break out of my chest. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, at least now you know it's begging and not crying. Well, you think so, but then you hear it. You're like, oh my gosh, can you hear it? Can you hear Nah, it's just begging. Yeah. Wow. I want you to see how my latch is on this thing. I can't even like, I can't even, I'm going to be chippy toes on the toilet. Well, at least there's high ceilings. Yeah, I gotta, by the way, I gotta like start planning to not have episodes of hearsay like right after therapy appointments. Oh, I have therapy today too. Are you okay? Is that what you're feeling? 
You're feeling a bit down? I'm actually feeling, yeah, I'm feeling okay. I think I'm just. But more I just look at the scary life like... than I would normally. Hey. No, I'm sorry. You're talking. Well, you're very. Thing, you've been very pixelated the entire. Um, the entire episode. Same? Goodness. So it's kind of funny because, like, all I see is like the vague where your facial features are, not necessarily oh, where they should be. What they look like. But I, you know what? I hear you. That makes me feel better that you're just being introspective after therapy because I was worried. I was like, Danny seems a little duty dour today. No, no, I'm, I, I don't know. I guess it's funny because they say cancers are supposed to be like really, um, like you have your shell on your outside, but I'm actually one of those people that kind of wears my heart on my sleeve. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like it's hard after. By the way, anyone that doesn't do therapy, like you have to, like you just should, like don't be one. If you're like in Even Middle America or to. somewhere else where people are like their bees were crazy, you know, I I don't even know what accent that was, but uh, and I'm, you know what, go to therapy, give it a whirl. There's so many options now, and uh, it is you'll be amazed at how much better. You'll feel. I mean, your life won't be better. I mean, look at my life. It is a it is a dumpster fire. However, uh, uh, I continue to march on. Your ability to cope with it, yes, yes has increased a significant degree. And um, yeah, yeah. Thank you, degree. That's so. With that said, um, our sponsor for today's episode. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, Dave! I got so excited. <laughs> we totally- is our sponsor Jody and like, Sarah's wedding help. in October of 2024? What was that? I said, is our sponsor for this episode? Well, I think my the sponsor is yeah, yeah, we'll my birthday. Jody Brown. And then yeah, and the, and then the second sponsor is Jody and Sarah's uh and upcoming nuptials in October of 2024. There we go. Okay. And also, do you want to hear some weird shout outs now? Martin Scorsese, same birthday today. Danny DeVito, same birthday. Lauren Michaels, today. Real interesting crew we got on the 17th. A lot of weirdos. I just retweeted Danny the other day. Did you? Always listen to I... Danny is what I said. Especially if it's Danny DeVito. He said, he said to uh, support. Uh, oh, yeah. and 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 then someone... One of our listeners was like, we'll do anything you tell us. So Danny DeVito said to support Raphael Warnock in any way that you can before this runoff election. I don't even understand how this is any kind of competition. One guy has multiple personalities and and soup for a brain like i'm not even being mean like he is incoherent yeah. and these are just like the the very basic things that like doctors would agree around with them i'm not even talking about the like i'm 100 percent pro-life and yet i paid for all these abortions i'm not even talking about that stuff i'm just talking about like you put him in an mri machine okay you know what they see inside of his his skull a bird's test <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Like that's it, man. Like nobody's home. Okay, there aren't even eggs in the bird's nest. It's like an old bird's nest that's been like stuck in a raptor for a long time, and like nothing, nobody's in there. And then you're talking about Raphael Warnock, who it does not matter if you're on the left or the right, is a competent, passionate, educated, inspiring pastor, right? Same as Pastor, who has had an excellent record in his tenure so far as a senator, right? And acted actually very moderately a- 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 along many lines. So you've got bird nests in the head, who admittedly himself says he has multiple personalities. And the other guy. Can we just say, Diane? This- yeah. It's because Herschel Walker's a cop. And you got to vote blue no matter who. I want to be and able that- to, I want to be able to lie with the 
um, just in the consequence free way and with such panache and ballsiness that these, these insane people do. I mean, like they have like, whether it's Trump or Walker or they're just like, I'm going to toss it. Okay. Can we just, for just to end this one, this will be our button. Okay. And then we're going to go to sleep. So everyone, this is our wind down. I'm going to say something in the most confident way that I want people to believe is true, but that is absolutely like not based in reality whatsoever. Okay. I'm going to go first and then you say one and we'll go back and forth a couple times. You ready? Okay. Well, I won the gold medal in the 400 meter breaststroke. Jing. I got a Nobel Peace Prize. For what? For Peace? being smart. He said, People don't know this. You know about what me, it was? Danny? What? I, I, I brokered a deal between mm -hmm. Israel and Hamas. Oh my gosh, they're so in love with each other. Not, hum not, not Hamas, Hamas, Hamas. Hamas, you did a very great job because you know what? They're like thick as thieves now. So well done, well <laughs> done. Um, okay, here's another one. I am a scientist. But not the kind you think. I'm a rocket scientist. The neuroscientist. No, I'm a rocket scientist. Oh, a scientist. rocket scientist. Yeah, I'm a okay, rocket scientist. Nice. And do you know where I went for rocket scientist school? In the rocket science where? school place, which everybody knows about. And when I was there, I also <laughs> became a cop. Nice. Mm -hmm. Does Hall Monitor count as cop now? It's up to it's open to interpretation. <laughs> okay, what else you got, Danny? Shit, you know more. who? You know who no, really what? is a neuroscientist? That uh, my wait, yeah, wait, is he? Um, is it Ben Carson? No, he's I not. Don't a, know how he's, he's not a he's a neurosurgeon. Oh, he's it's a, a neurosurgeon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is why people this always crack me up with like Ben Carson because people are like, yeah, but he's a neurosurgeon. Of course, he can run HUD, and I'm like. You know what? Like, would you trust the guy running HUD to do brain surgery? No. Like, some things just don't cross. Like, just because you're good at one yeah. doesn't mean you're going to be good at the other. Like, people got to get over it. All right. Hit, hit me with another one. Yeah. Okay. My final um, truth, mm -hmm. my, my final alternative fact is yeah. um, I've read you all the it. books. Oh, my I've gosh. Read all, the books, all the books? Diane. Yeah. Like, name a book. Uh, the Bible. Oh, yeah, I've read that. I read that every night. Are the whole serious? thing. Every Joan sitting. Didion every yeah. novel ever. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. She's my favorite. Yeah. They're really tremendous, uh, those novels. All of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. Oh, the only the only book I haven't read is the one that yeah. my ex-wife says that I would read, which is Mein Kampf. The one, the one book I'm willing to deny reading. <laughs> Danny, can we please, you know how you go to like hotel rooms and there's like a copy of the, the Bible in the drawer, right? Um, and lots of them or in, in, in some, if you're one half of my people, then there's like a book of Mormon in the drawer, but like, not because I believe in it, but just because I think it would be really, really funny. Let's just put copies of my call on the back of every toilet of every, every restaurant we know. This is going to horribly backfire. Oh, I'm not in saying like it's three a years. Idea. This is going to be like a Rick and Morty episode where in like three years we're going to be like, why is everyone trying to kill us? Yeah, no, no. Um, well, th this is a joke. I don't let think me, the let me, Jewish let me lady and the gay Mexican kid. Yeah, I don't think yeah. the Jewish Mormon and the gay Mexican kid are ever going to put Mein Kampf anywhere. But I like to imagine what it would be like for someone sitting on a toilet and to and turn around and for some reading material and it'd be Mein Kampf. Like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. It's like, once again. Ain't that some shit. Exactly. Kristallnacht, not funny. Horrific. The beginning of the Holocaust, which is extremely horrific, right? None of that's funny. 
what's funny is someone at KFC Germany sending out a promotional tweet saying, celebrate Kristallnacht with some crispy chicken. That's hilarious. So people really just like, I really yeah. just wish people would understand like the difference. Um, and on that note, I really did like your, your lies. I can't wait to see your Nobel prize. Um, looking oh, forward yeah. to that. It's yeah. in the mail right now. Oh, did but, they, you know, did those they... Democrats, they always prioritize the mail in balance. So oh, who knows when it will arrive, but, but that's once true. it arrives, so I'll like, let you see it. Okay. Diane. They didn't even like, yeah. Okay. They didn't even like FedEx is or is Obama's birth certificate in there from Kenya as well? Is it in the envelope? Oh, no, that with doesn't exist. The Nobel Prize? Oh, no, from his Kenya. Kenyan birth certificate. Yeah. Um, you know what? Now that you mention it, I mm-hmm. just remembered they said that they were going to pack them together. Oh, well, that's so nice of them. It also really cuts down on the shipping yeah. cost. Yeah. So that's good. Oh, yeah. And it, it's better for the environment. <laughs> Even though glo- global warming is not real. There's no such thing as climate change. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. On that note, Danny, thanks for spending the first hour and six minutes of my birthday with me. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I'm so happy to Hola. be here with you. And Hola. um I'm sure all the fans are gonna love uh seeing you at the moment. You turned how old was it now? Forty six. 46. Isn't that crazy? Should I like I'm closer to, to 50 now than I am to 40. Yeah. That means you're exactly well not exactly. You're about 14 years older than me. <laughs> I don't know, know why I said that. <laughs> just some math. You were just felt like there was some math. Like I'm like a by the way, like I just it's, saw... Yeah. No, no. It's um it's really weird because First of all, I never thought I'd live past 30. So all of this has been a surprise. And and it's just like, it's one of those really weird things that, yeah, you wake up and you're like, oh, wow, that much time has passed. And it's, uh, it's like, it's shocking. But I do have to say the insanity of the last few years, notwithstanding, and I have, um, Learned a great deal of lessons. Uh, aside from, I, I really, I can't complain. I had, I think I was telling you this. So when I had surgery last year, and it was a really long surgery, and one of those surgeries was like, you should probably, you know, get your will together before you go in. And, and it was at the peak of COVID, and so it was all alone, and there wasn't anyone to even like drop you off, or you know, like it was, it was crazy. And before they gave me any drugs. Or anything like that. So this is like completely sober with it. When they were rolling me in, Danny, all I could think about was how overwhelmingly grateful I was for what an amazing life that I've been lucky enough to have. I mean, I was just flooded with gratitude and um i'm really grateful for that experience too because anytime you're doing stuff like uh cleaning someone else's toilet which just happened two days in a row now (laughs) um i remember laying there and just like you know how a lot of people are like afraid to die because and i was just like i was like telling the uh, anesthesiologist and everyone i was like look guys if anything goes wrong I just want you to know, don't feel bad because I have had a wild ride and it has been so much fun. And I've met the coolest people and I've gotten to see the most amazing places. And there is even the hard minute, you know, at least it's like the complete human experience. And uh, I'm grateful for every second. So that was beautiful. So poetic. And all of it true. And on that note, everyone, thanks for being with me on my birthday. And we'll see you later. And Dan. Toodles. (laughs) Good night, everyone.